Yo guys, what's up and welcome to another video. What you're gonna see today, the footage is actually from quite far back, a few weeks back before the German championship, but we've been working so hard on the last video on the main channel, which was obviously the crossing towards Denmark. Lars has been editing nonstop and yeah, we've really put a lot of effort into that. If you haven't seen that, probably you have, then go over to the main channel and check that out. It was actually, yeah, quite the trip and super super stoked on all the positive feedback on the video it's already gotten a lot of views and is still climbing and that really motivates us to put more effort into the videos on the main channel i hope that also excuses us being less active on this one here and then also for the next video on the main channel which is a video about the board development of starboard we're putting more effort so not sure when that one is coming out yeah anyways that's why the footage is a bit late enjoy the video hopefully more videos coming on this channel soon and uh, yeah stay tuned for the other ones on the main channel make sure to subscribe and see you soon we're back <laughs> welcome to third <laughs> Ja. 9 Euro Foil, 7 4 Foil, 6 6 Foil, 5 4 Foil and even a 4 4 Foil. No, that's 7 8. <laughs> Never mind, you get the point. Uh, 4 4. By far the smallest foil sale I ever used. Uh, actually, I didn't use it yet. And I don't think I will, but you gotta be prepared, right? And then, of course, the fin sails, because here the challenge is now you, it's not a lot of waves, and it's very shallow. So you can't really get on the foil and on the uh, or on the fin yet, but waves are breaking on top of you. So maybe we might have to use fin boards in conditions that are actually foil conditions. So that's going to be really tricky. We'll see the next day. Perfect, Northern German yeah. rain weather. Magnesium. Citrat, Magnat, Carbonat, Hydronat. One per day. <laughs> one, one? <laughs> no. Like Smarties. Du hast nur jetzt gegessen. Drei. <lacht> Werde ich schon nicht von sterben, oder? How much magnesium you think you have to take to die from it? I think the whole package would not kill you, but... To get a magnesium poisoning. What, think... what happens if you get my, if you take too much magnesium? Do you turn into like a chalk something? A chalk stick? A chalk stick. <laughs> your hair your hair becomes white and you can like draw with it. Draw with it. Andreas is the carbon guru. He sanded my foils, tuned some of my gear. So we're gonna go and get the foils from him. Yeah. Oh, these are here. Alter. Oh, Alter. Oh, so oh. 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 So finally we're here with a proper setup. 95 centimeter long fuselage and a smaller heck wing. So far, so far I've been holding back. I won't say that was intentional. Let's just keep it at that. It was unintentional and I was holding back. <laughs> now I'm with a 95 centimeter long fuselage and a smaller tail wing. It's uh, 38 centimeters wide. The previous one was 40 centimeters. And I'm going with a 70 centimeter wide front wing. It's like 560 in area roundabout. I do have a smaller wing now too. I didn't have that. Just look at that. It's like 420 area. So it's not windy enough for that one yet, but I think it will be tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. So super curious for that one. And also for the shorter fuselage and the new babies, the new sails, 6.6. Six. I feel good about the gear. New partner, good for changing the clothes, changing the wetsuit. In the cold cold weather, dry rope. By the way, Lars. Yeah. Nice, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, dry rope, for equipping us with these beauties. So I don't have to show everyone my butt. Maybe everyone want wanted to see it. Wanted to see it. So. Here, show me. <laughs> Coming from Thailand, I didn't have much 
preparation time. So it's good to get on the water before the competition starts. Definitely good to get a at least one proper training session. One proper training session and some laps in, but uh, I'm excited. Actually, more and more now that I'm going foiling in, in stronger wind and with smaller sails, I'm not so used to such small foiling sizes yet, but it's good, I'm looking forward to it. Heavier weapons now. Heavier weapons. Smaller board first and then smaller front wing. First time with a 78. Small, small. Good changes? Uh, I don't know, different. But it's good fun the board. It's a uh, lot more control. A lot more control? A lot more control, of course, yeah. What did you expect? Don't know, smaller board, less control. The other way around. <laughs> more control on the smaller board. And uh, maybe more control on the smaller wing as well? Yeah, for sure. It's getting windier now. And, but uh, maybe you could see it that the nose is a bit too low, I'm missing a bit of either rake in the mast, some shims in the back angle to get more uh, more lift out of it or base further back. Or one more thing that I have in mind I could do about the foot strap position. But I'm already all the way to the back but I want to bring it even further back. Thinking what change I should do but for now I will just change the wing and then I will start try to start get the, the rake right, the trim of the board because now the nose is too low. And I always eat the waves. for today it's good to get some test runs on the smaller kit for tomorrow because it's going to be windy and uh, some tuning some testing some uh, secret little tweaks <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's good giving me some energy being out there I'm motivated for tomorrow still not uh, still a couple of things to do tonight and tomorrow morning but uh, 
I hope I'll get there in time for the competition. Then we good.